The circus is in town. Not my kind of circus. The following contest is an extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown. Weighing in at 245 pounds, Doink the Clown. A true master of mind games. Doink and his evil tricks have confused many opponents. And I have a feeling the same will hold true tonight. Doink makes me want to bite my fingers, chew my toes, and hide under my bed. This is a family game, Saxton. Keep your personal life personal. There is pure evil in the eyes of the clown right now. Yeah, th th there is nothing funny about what Doink is preparing to do tonight. Wait, is he looking at me, Corey? Yes, and he can't stand you. Yeah, now we're talking. Everybody's got a price. Everybody's good. And his opponent, weighing in at 248 pounds, one half of the world tag team champions, Irvin R. Snyder. Guys, this match has the potential to completely change the WWE landscape, and it's because of this level of talent involved. Word is that the champ was actually asking for this to be a title match, but the officials backstage wouldn't allow it. That is how competitive he is. And how are you supposed to prepare for something like this? You gotta keep your head on a swivel at all times, Cole. And now this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in their vocabulary at this point. I think you're right, Saxton, and I love it. Oh. Corey, what's the sound strategy for going into an Extreme Rules match? That's a tough question, Cole. It's hard to plan for something as chaotic as an Extreme Rules match. But you need to remember that pins and submissions have to happen in the ring. So if you're in trouble, the harsh arena floor could actually be a safe haven. Across the top rope, what a hot shot. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho, that'll cave your chest in. I think mean, Doink is doing too much clowning around for his own good. Driven into the barricade. Into the barricade. And now Doink has all gears in motion. Yeah, Doink is proving hard to keep up with. I mean, Doink is doing too much clowning around for his own good. Oh. Shot after shot. Oh, ruthless striking. Is it time now to get his energy up and claw back into the fight? He's looking to absolutely destroy his opponent with that chair. Ouch. Elbow right to the nose. To the corner. This can't be good. Ooh. He knew that was coming. Right to the back of the neck. Ooh. Oh, look at running in a circle. Ouch. Right down on the leg. The legs are a base that you do not want to lose. Chopping down the tree at the base here. He's getting pushed out of the defensive. Part of the territory when you're in an extreme rules match, Cole. Ooh, what a right of corner. Hard shot. And Bulldog after the punch. Completely shut. 
shifted to Doink. Doink isn't holding anything back. Oh, God. Oh. Ooh, ho, ho. Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. Drop Toho. What are we about to see? Oh, knee right to the hands. Ah, crush a hamstring. Kick to the gut. And he sends him into the corner. Good night. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Blow to the back. Oh my gosh! Shoulders down. Kicks out. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Catching a drop kick. This superstar has a hold of the leg, going round and round. Ouch! Right down on the leg. Just don't looking. Nice drop kick. Able to evade. Doink steers clear there. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. And back in the ring we go. He's showing them what superiority really looks like. him off. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. And an inverted atomic drop. Face first into the chair. Escapes in a nick of time. Oh no. What on earth is he going to do with that? Boom. One of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Striking with the knee drop. So precise. Ooh. Oh my goodness. And he barely evades. This match's brutality starting to show on him. Showing a lot of fortitude in this Extreme Rules match for sure, but not sure how much more tenable it can be. Quick thinking pays off. Just pinning the arm down and that and a carefully measured knee drop. No clue what he hopes to find down there. WWE Universe wants tables. Well. They've got tables. The table, the table's being set on fire. Boom, what a close line. Oh, colliding with a barricade. Oh. They burst into the barricade. Hits to the core like that'll render you useless. Continues to rage on with no superstar willing to give an inch. Oh my goodness. Through that table. That's it. You can literally see his 
soul leave his body as he crashed through the table. I have no idea how he's going to manage to go on in this one. And he'll leave the ring for this next scratch. He's got the table, and I can only imagine what he's thinking of doing with it. Just whipped into the table. Continues the attack on the core. It could prove to be an effective strategy. And he's able to counter. He's showing it's not time for lying down. It's time for fighting back. And now Doink has all gears in motion. Yeah, Doink is proving hard to keep up with. Oh, my goodness. telling what's underneath the ring tonight. With all this in mind, take it from me. Nothing good ever comes from rearranging first. They're setting the table on fire! Oh my god! Sit straight into the barricade. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. Oh, looks like it's time for a little demolition. Let's hammer right to the gut. And he's taken out a persistent assault. Yeah, the defects in his game are leaving him vulnerable. And all that attention that was placed on attacking the torso seems to have paid off here. That systematic breakdown could become... Yokes up their opponent. Driven down with a sidewalk slam. Ooh, nice hip drop. Man, this place is jumping. He, oh, my God. The table has been set ablaze. That's not a table. It's a barbecue. Oh, Doink gets cut off. Yeah, he's getting some newly determined focus. Completely shifted to Doink. Yeah, Doink is proving hard to keep up with. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Lined up, and the pitch, uppercut. Yokes up their opponent. Driven down with a sidewalk slam. He'll head to the ring. He leaves the ring, and there's no countouts in this one. Getting back into the ring. Ooh, the floor connects. He's heading up top. Thinking big. From the top. Dobby, double axe handle. Taking flight. And nobody's there. Looks under. Let's go behind. Instead, what a German suplex. See up to the rafters, and there's not a single person sitting down. What an environment this is. All eyes are glued on this battle. Jumping finds the spot. Set up in the corner of the ring. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. Wrapping the arm over that top rope, punishing their opponent. Oh! Boom! Boom! Hammer and sickle! Taking this outside. This could be good. 
Doink steers clear there. He is obviously taking way too much pleasure in this right now. Oh, man. And gets tossed back into the mat. Going way up high. From the top, double axe handle connects. High risk territory for Doink. From the top, he paid for that one. Oh man, big time. And he goes into the ring. struggle for these competitors to find an end to this match. But the struggle's worth it. With every move you make, you hear this capacity crowd following you on that journey. <laughs> Escape just in time. And you can tell these attacks are disorienting him. Sustained attacks up in that area could cause impaired vision. And the brunt of these attacks are focused above the shoulder. It's a very effective and vulnerable spot to target. Oh! He moved! But can he capitalize? Dwight steers clear there. He's feeling it. Got him in his sights. Dodge is out of the way. He fends off the attack. Debilitating attack on the leg. What are we about to see? Oh, knee right to the hand. Ah, what a hamstring. And he might have found a focal point with that leg. He went right into that turnbuckle. Monkey flip. Great trouble here. Can he get it fully locked? Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. A stump puller. I have no tap out. is your winner. Here is your winner, Doink the Clown. And the outside help definitely had to play a factor here, guys. I don't know how anyone can call this a clear-cut win with that in mind. Yeah, they put up a good fight, but you have to imagine her head was not in the right place after that distraction. That's true, Saxon. It's hard to focus on just the match when there's an outside variable at play. Yeah.